Ear disorder multiple choice questions. Meniere's disease strikes all ages and both sexes equally. True. False. 1. Meniere's disease strikes all ages and both sexes equally. A. True. 2. Common treatment for recurrent or chronic otitis media. A. Amoxicillin. B. P. E. Tubes. C. Gentamicin. D. Metronidazole. 2. Common treatment for recurrent or chronic otitis media. B. P. E. Tubes. 3. Which of the following is slash are true for otosclerosis except? Otosclerosis is a progressive condition, beginning in adult. Begins as a soft, spongy growth of new bone, may appear anywhere in the me, but most often near the oval window. In 90% of cases there is no symptoms. A and C. 3. Which of the following is slash are true for otosclerosis except? A. Otosclerosis is a progressive condition, beginning in adult. 4. Cholesteatoma is. A cyst that invades the middle ear. B usually grows rapidly. C destroy the ossicular chain and invade the cochlea. D break through the thin shelf of bone that forms the superior surface of the middle ear cavity, invading the meninges. E all. 4 cholesteatoma is. E all. 5 which of the following is slash are true for cholesteatomas except. A cholesteatomas can develop in both children and adults. B. Are benign growths of skin in the middle ear and mastoid. C. Cholesteatomas commonly cause hearing loss and infections. D. The only treatment available to cure is surgery. Surgery is usually done as day surgery, outpatient. E. None of the above. 5. Which of the following is slash are true for cholesteatomas except? E. None of the above. 6. The most common underlying cause of sensorineural hearing loss is Damage to the hair cell transducers. Truma. Both. None of the above. 6. The most common underlying cause of sensorineural hearing loss is Damage to the hair cell transducers. 7. Neomycin is the drug that is most toxic to the structure involved in hearing, the cochlea, so it is recommended for topical use only. True. False. 7. Neomycin is the drug that is most toxic to the structure involved in hearing, the cochlea, so it is recommended for topical use only. True. 8. Which of the following is slash are the major symptom of Meniere's disease? Periodic episodes of rotary vertigo or dizziness. Fluctuating, progressive, low-frequency hearing loss. Tinnitus. Sensation of fullness or pressure in the ear. All of the above. 8. Which of the following is slash are the major symptom of Meniere's disease? E. All of the above. 9. The most disruptive and debilitating symptom of Meniere's disease. Periodic episodes of rotary vertigo. Fluctuating, progressive, low-frequency hearing loss. Tinnitus. Sensation of fullness or pressure in the ear. All of the above. 9. The most disruptive and debilitating symptom of Meniere's disease. Periodic episodes of rotary vertigo. 10. Excessive and fluctuating pressure in the endolymphatic fluid in the membranous labyrinth systems, causes the membranous labyrinth to bulge. This condition is known as endolymphatic hydrops. Meniere's disease. Tinnitus. Labyrinth systems hydrops. 10. Excessive and fluctuating pressure in the endolymphatic fluid in the membranous labyrinth systems, causes the membranous labyrinth to bulge. This condition is known as endolymphatic hydrops. 11. Noise-induced hearing loss are acoustic trauma, long-term noise exposure, both, none of the above. 11. Noise-induced hearing loss are acoustic trauma, long-term noise exposure, both, 12. Injury due to brief exposure to very intense sounds is called acoustic trauma. The example are except. Gunshots. Artillery fire. Explosions. Rice mill sound. 12. Injury due to brief exposure to very intense sounds is called acoustic trauma. The example are except. D. Rice mill sound. 
14 examples of antibiotics which are notoriously ototoxic except neomycin, streptomycin, canamycin, amoxicillin. 14 examples of antibiotics which are notoriously ototoxic except diamoxicillin. 15 for acoustic neuroma. Benign, non malignant, tumor that exerts pressure on eighth nerve. Always slow growing. Most common symptom, hearing loss, mild initially, often accompanied by tinnitus. All of the above. 15 for acoustic neuroma. D. All of the above. 16. Which one is not true about autosomal dominant causes for middle ear? There is at least a 50% probability that the child will also have a hearing loss. One parent has a dominant gene for SNHL and typically has a hearing loss. Each child will have a 1 in 4 chance of inheriting the bum gene. A and C. 16. Which one is not true about autosomal dominant causes for middle ear? C. Each child will have a 1 in 4 chance of inheriting the bum gene. 17. Normal hearing. PDA 25 dB. PDA 25 to 92 dB. PDA 92 dB. All of the above. 17. Normal hearing. PDA 25 dB. 18. Most common way to measure hearing sensitivity is to measure. PDA. BOA. VRA. OAE. 18. Most common way to measure hearing sensitivity is to measure. PDA. 19. Hearing impairment. PDA 25 dB. PDA 25 to 92 dB. PDA 92 dB. All of the above. 19. Hearing impairment. B. PDA 25 to 92 dB. 20. Otitis media. Most common cause of conductive hearing loss, characterized by the accumulation of fluid. Most common health problem in children. Otitis media involves a very specific chain of events revolving around the abnormal functioning of the eustachian tube. All of the above. 20. Otitis media. D. All of the above. 21. Conductive hearing disorders is. Disorders affecting the CNS. Disorders involving the conduction of sound to the cochlea. Disorders involving the eighth nerve. Disorders involving anatomical structures beyond the cochlea. 21. Conductive hearing disorders is. B. Disorders involving the conduction of sound to the cochlea. 22. Accumulation of fluid contributes to the conductive hearing loss. If, the fluid is infected and thickens into pus condition is called. Serous otitis media. Suppurative or purulent otitis media. Non-suppurative otitis media. A and C. 22. Accumulation of fluid contributes to the conductive hearing loss. If, the fluid is infected and thickens into pus condition is called. B. Suppurative or purulent otitis media. 23. Accumulation of fluid contributes to the conductive hearing loss. If, the fluid is sterile condition is called serous otitis media, suppurative or purulent otitis media, non-suppurative otitis media, A and C. 23. Accumulation of fluid contributes to the conductive hearing loss. If, the fluid is sterile condition is called D. A and C. 24. The most common vision disorders affect sensitivity, acuity, both. None of the above. 24. The most common vision disorders affect B. Acuity. 25. The most common hearing disorders are those that affect hearing sensitivity, hearing acuity, both. None of the above. 25. The most common hearing disorders are those that affect hearing sensitivity. 26. Approximately 80% of inherited hearing loss is autosomal recessive. True. False. 26. Approximately 80% of inherited hearing loss is autosomal recessive. True. 27. Dot amount of inner ear damage depends on the combination of A. Intensity of the noise. B. Length of exposure. 
see both. D. None of the above. 27 amount of inner ear damage depends on the combination of C. Both. 28 deafness. PDA 25 dB. PDA 25 to 92 dB. PDA 92 dB. All of the above. 28 deafness. C. PDA 92 dB. 29 hearing aids improve. Sensitivity. Acuity. Both. None of the above. 29 hearing aids improve. Sensitivity. 30 eyeglasses and contact lenses improve. Sensitivity. Acuity. Both. None of the above. 30 eyeglasses and contact lenses improve. B. Acuity. 31. If otitis media lasts more than 2 to 3 months, the condition is known. Acute otitis media. Chronic otitis media. Recurrent otitis media. Both. 31. If otitis media lasts more than 2 to 3 months, the condition is known. B. Chronic otitis media. 32. Inherited hearing loss can also be associated with a collection of interrelated symptoms in the form of a syndrome. Examples include A. Wardenberg syndrome B. Treacher Collins syndrome C. Klippelfield syndrome D. All of the above 32. Inherited hearing loss can also be associated with a collection of interrelated symptoms in the form of a syndrome. Examples include D. All of the above 33. Most common treatment for otitis media Amoxicillin PE tubes Gentamicin Metronidazole 33. Most common treatment for otitis media A. Amoxicillin Thank you.